My name is David Watley. I'm a retired uh, special agent with the Federal Bureau of Investigation. I spent 26 years with the Federal Bureau of Investigation, and I am currently living in Panama where I own and operate a business by the name of iScan. I have several examples in private industry where um, uh, particular companies were doing uh, their approach, their filtering, their credibility assessment process was cumbersome, their credibility assessment process was long, their credibility assessment process was not accurate, and more and most of all, their credibility assessment process was expensive. What people are doing or what um, uh, different companies are doing is putting the eye detect at the beginning of their process. So instead of waiting till the end and spending $100, $150 on a polygraph and the possibilities of that person passing or not, what they're doing is they're putting the eye detect um, uh, exam at the beginning. So before the person even goes to an interview, the per before the person even gets seriously considered for employment when a in a particular company, the person has already passed an eye detect exam. So instead of having 10 people come into the, uh, the human resources process, and of the 10, three or four pass, now you take 20 or 30 people, you put them through the eye detect process, and of those 30, if 15 pass, you put those 15 into the human resources process, and with that, you get a throughput, of uh, uh, a larger throughput finishing through the process and you get better candidates and a, and a larger quantity of candidates. So what a, what a human resources section would do in this particular situation would be to reduce the manpower in dealing with the interviews and other processes to filter. You filter at the beginning and then you have a pretty good idea that this person is a decent candidate to go through the rest of the the human resources or recruitment process.